Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Um, my voice is slightly clearer than my previous couple of videos. Still a little rusty. Um, so I'm here to run through the last of my vendor wax hauls from the forward box that arrived for December. So this one is um, a nice big sized order from Teddy Bee's Wax Co. This was their pre-order, I think it was in September. I'm not sure. Anyway, the last big pre-order that they did. Um, they did, she did. Um, so... No secret, Teddy Bees is one of my favourite brands um, for wax. Just, um, you know, lots of good things that I love about it. I love, pretty much, I love her, so A, her scents are fantastic and I get good performance from them. Um, but what I really like is just her pre-orders work so well for me. Like, she does, uh, she generally does three different sizes. So she'll do sort of little pots um, and then she'll do clams and then she also has loaves. Um, and she always has a very big extensive scent list. So when I do a pre-order, if I'm going to be waiting for sort of eight weeks or more for wax, I kind of like to know that I'm going to get, I can, you know, if I only see one or two scents on the list, I often don't bother. Um, or if um, they only offer it in like, you know, big bags of things or loaves, um, then I just, yeah, I pretty much... Um, yeah, like I'll I'll pre-order scents that I have tried before in big quantities, in like bigger sized items. But if I haven't tried the scent before, I'm just not willing to go in on a loaf or whatever. So um, I really appreciate that with Teddy Bees, I can get the smaller, um, you know, smaller sized shapes for things that I'm not sure, haven't tried before. Um, and then if I fall in love, then I can, you know, order clams or loaves later down the track and she is very good she takes scent requests as well for every pre-order so um or for just about every pre-order so and she's very good at including as much as she can so if you do fall in love with a scent um and get a small quantity obviously you've got to wait a while because you'll have to wait to the next pre-order but um or you know a, a pre-order in the future but you know that at some point you'll get a chance to get it again in a bigger quantity so i really appreciate that the ready to ships are quite full on um i won't lie that it can be difficult to get what you want i tend to only go in for small you know a couple of bits and pieces here and there on the ready to ships um but that doesn't really bother me because i know that the pre-orders are so um so well run so uh did i show the card i don't think i did so this is the card um her details you can take a screenshot if you want um definitely recommend being in the group just to get information about upcoming pre-orders and things like that um, although I think she does have a blog on her page where she puts updates as well. So check that out if you're not on Facebook, because that's another way to get updates on things. I think I remember her talking about it, but I haven't looked at it right recently. So two samples, pretty much every order I've ever gotten has always had two samples. Uh, so the first one being winter solstice, solstice, which is winter BBW type with frosted eucalyptus and a hint of mint. Um, her wax is very soft. I'm just going to put that out there. So it can be a bit greasy to touch. Um, I don't mind. Like, you've just got to be careful handling it. But I don't think I love this one. I might try mel mel melting it. Eucalyptus scents can be a bit funny to me. It is very fresh and kind of nostril clearing. I mean, the fact that I'm contemplating melting it, even though I don't normally like eucalyptus and mint at all. It's got a nice fresh tone. I don't know what the notes of winter BBW type are, but yeah, it's got a nice kind of icy fresh tone. So it could be okay. I don't, I'm not like getting any must have vibes off it, but it's also not making me think that, you know, I need to get rid of it or anything like that. And then I also got a sample of Moncherie. So this, <clears throat> I think this is a sweet on Paris, um, maybe with something else, but I can't remember what, I'd have to look it up. Yeah, I'm really getting that very pretty, sweet, floral, fruity tone. I'm pretty sure it's sweet on Paris. Oh, what's the other one? Maybe blackberry sugar violets? I always get those two confused. Yeah, I'm not sure what's in it, but it's sweet, it's floral, it's fruity, it's very pretty. So, it's nice. Uh, so I'll start, I'll work backwards in terms of size. So I'll start with the lows first and then I'll go backwards. So um, work my way down. So the first one I have is the Perfect Storm. Uh, so sea spray, ocean water, citrus, damp, leaves, dark amber and oak moss. 
um, and she puts the pour date on the back there, which is cool. Um, I love the Perfect Storm. This is one of my all-time favourites, so I've actually already got a loaf on the go. Um, so that's what this one's looking like. It's just, it's absolutely phenomenal. It's it's oceanic, but what makes it, what sets it apart, I think, I still sort of struggle to um, articulate what sets it apart, but I get a deep amber citrus, which just kind of anchors it and makes it deeper and darker and not, you know, sort of too salty or watery. And I think the leaves and the oak moss, like there is just a damp kind of tone to it. But really unique with the citrus and the amber, I think. So I just I just love it. It's I'm tempted to it's one I pull out it's it really is my favorite one of my favourites to melt when the weather gets stormy. So um like I'm tempted to we've got forecasted storms for later today. Um if so even though this wasn't in my the perfect storm wasn't in my melting box, I am tempted to pull it out and melt it again this um this afternoon because I just love it so much. The other one I got a loaf of, first time um, getting a loaf of this one, uh, Winter Farmhouse. So sugar cane, rosemary, blue spruce, teakwood, sweet mint, palo santo, light bulb. This is so good. This is just, this is a happy place to melt. Like I've put this, I put this on, um, I ran out of it a little while ago, but I put this on when I just need, yeah, just need happy, ha need a happy place. Um, it's very complex. So while I say it's one of my favourite Palo Santo scents, I would actually say that it's not like obviously Palo Santo. There's a real kind of fresh sweetness in with, I guess, the sweet mint, the sugar cane, the rosemary, like, like, yeah, to me, there's a real kind of sweet, refreshing tone to it. Um, but then it's on the base, it's on a, a sort of a woodsy base. So the teakwood and the Palo Santo. And yeah, the blues, the combo of the blue spruce, I think, and the um, the mint and the rosemary, just gives it this absolutely amazing fresh tone. So I love, love, love this. Like it's just, it's just an epic blend. So really happy because I did run it. I only had a mini loaf, and I did run it. I think I finished it a couple of months ago. So I def around the time I ordered that actually. So um, definitely was due for some more. Uh, onto the clamshells. So I've got blackberry butter pecan cookies. So butter pecan waffles, blackberry jam, butter cookies. Um, I have a clam, I think, with three pieces left. And I've got, I ordered another clam of this in the um, ready to ship because I was sort of regretting not having gotten um, a loaf. I love blackberry butter pecan cookies. It's one of my all time favorite bakery scents. Um, I don't, interesting, I avoided pecan scents for a long time um because i hate i hate pumpkin pecan waffles i can't stand that scent um and i also really dislike um pecan pralines and things like that like that gooey sweet <laughs> can't do it so i really thought when i was seeing pecan waffles um in um various scents of teddy bees in particular i really thought i wasn't going to like them but holy cow To me, this is just the butteriest, creamiest bakery I've ever smelled. And the butteriness, I've had some brands or scents that have had really buttery bakery notes and they don't work for me. Either they take a slightly burnt butter tone or they're just, uh, something about them just doesn't work. But this is just pure buttery bakery deliciousness um, with just a bit of like, they're, I don't think the blackberry jam note in it is strong, but it is there and it is just so good. So absolutely love, love, love this scent. Um, yeah, I think between two clamshells and I haven't finished the other one, I think I've got it to melt this weekend. Um, that should see me through until I can order some more. <laughs> um, another stock up on a favorite again i've got another i've got another full clamshell down in the collection uh christmas trees and cream so fresh pine boughs vanilla sugar waffle cone and rich but vanilla buttercream this is just this is one of the scents that made me fall in love with teddy bees it's just so unique 
to me it's it's really creamy it's got a really beautiful and buttercream you know when a, re a really good buttercream has a slight tang to it you get that but then the pine note to it just turns into something else altogether so i should be showing what each of the things look like so it's just she does use a bit of glitter but it's not overboard oh, yeah something about this one it's just so unique I have picked some, I've been going through today and pulling out my um, melts for Christmas. I've got one last piece of this from a, um, like a mini loaf and I'm melting that um, sometime during the Christmas week and who knows, I might pull some more Christmas trees and cream next week because because it has no spice and it's not overly, um, it's not like super strong on the pine, like it's not a pine heavy scent either. To me, this is because we're obviously summer, um, we're in summer coming into Christmas um I still feel like it's a fine it's an absolutely okay scent to melt um in warm weather as well as cool oh, but I just I love Christmas trees and cream so much now the last one I got um <clears throat> in a clamshell is a bit of, ex and of an exception to the rule because normally I only get clams in things that I have tried and love um I mean I have tried blended this in her blends before but never solo so frosted circus sugar cookies which is sweet sugar buttery shortbread buttercream frosting vanilla and sugar cookie dough um now i've come to the conclusion with her frosted circus sugar cookies that i do like it but it's it's not my favorite um i think i prefer it in blends than i do solo and not every blend either. It's at, One of my biggest complaints about it is it is actually not a strong thrower for me. Um, I do find it's kind of limited in the throat. So here it actually smells really good. Just a really nice, again, buttery, sweet cookie scent. Last night I was getting a kind of, sometimes I get a, I think this is the thing, sometimes I get a slightly plasticky note off it, of hers, and sometimes I don't. Right now I'm not, but last night when I was smelling it, I definitely was getting a bit of a plasticky note. But anyway, the main reason I got this in a clam and not a smaller thing was because I wanted to blend it. In particular, she did a blend um, in this pre-order, which was Christmas trees and cream and frosted circus cookies. And I was really, really, it was like on my list, in my cart, but I decided I had to cut back a bit. And I decided that getting the clam of this and doing a blend myself would be more versatile than... Um, buying a whole thing of the two I may regret that decision but anyway I, I just feel like the two melting the two of them given that I love Christmas trees and cream on its own I'm probably only going to do it like once so um and I feel like there'll be other things I can blend this with as well so that's pretty much the the rationale between behind getting a full um one of these and not um not something smaller so now on to the um the little pots I can't remember what she calls them but um there's nothing, everything here I think is a new to me scent. So, um, there's some favorites and then there's some stuff that was new in this pre-order. So first one being milk cookies and zucchini bread. So our milk and cookies blended with zucchini bread. I don't really know what milk and cookies is, but I assume it's not meant to smell like milk and cookies. Uh, so this one looks like that. All right, this is really delicious. I did ask in the group because she had milk and cookies on its own and then milk cookies, zucchini bread. Um, and I, I, again, I had both on my list. So I'm just popping things out of the pots. I like to take them out of the pots um, when I put them away in my storage. I do that with the loaves too. Um, so I did ask in the group um, if people thought that this one, which one was better. And most people said they preferred this over the plain milk and cookies. It just smells really good. There's a note in this that I've picked up in some of their other bakeries. It's kind of like a dry pastry. And her zucchini bread, her zucchini breads to me, um, I will admit her zucchini bread's probably not my favourite of the vendor zucchini breads, but it is pretty good still. It's quite rich, I find. So yeah, this has got quite of um, this is quite a rich. Um, creamy bakery kind of scent but no I quite like that she has a lot of her bakeries do tend to lean onto the rich side but not necessarily spice so 
I can melt them all year round, but they're not necessarily ones that I could like pull out and melt, you know, on a warmer day. Um, the Frosted Circus sugar cookies, I probably could. Um, but yeah, this one's probably more of a cooler weather sort of um, thing. So, and this one's got the description duplicated. So, rain and woods, which is crunchy leaves, wet flowers, clove, balsam, patchouli and sandalwood. <clears throat> so this one looks like it's just a bit of glitter like that. Uh, pop it out. So, alright, this is nice. Um, I feel like I get quite a bit of clove. Pardon me. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely kind of giving me herbal wood vibes. And floral, I'm, I'm getting that wet floral. Yeah, I quite like, I think wet, wet floral, like wet flowers is definitely probably the most kind of prominent tone. But then, yeah, you sort of get, yeah, a nice kind of... It's almost incense like, I guess, because of the patchouli, the clove, the sound of wood, it does give kind of those almost like hippie vibes. But yeah, it, that is really nice. Not, it's not as refreshing, I'd say, as some scents in that kind of rain category are. And it's not the same sort of floral as a lot of rain scents are either. So it's a bit of a unique one in that regard, I would say. Uh, so here's a fan favourite, which is Be Crazy. So this one's Birthday Cake, Pecan Waffles, Sugar Cookie Dough and a Pinch of Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. Again, I think I avoided this one for a long time because of the Pecan Waffles note. Um, but I've learned not to fear the Pecan Waffles. Um, I've also heard with this one that it really, um, uh, it really shows what it's about when you um, melt it more so than cold. So um, keeping that in mind when I sniff. So that's what it looks like. Because the wax is a bit um, greasy, I'm just sort of trying to pop out without making a mess. Oh, this one seems to not want to do that. Oh, there we go. But I've made a mess of the tin. Um, yeah, okay, this is good. I definitely pick up some similarity to, between this and the blackberry butter pecan cookies. Like the pecan, I feel like the pecan waffles is quite prominent in both. But this is, this is more of a sugary, artificial sugary, I will say, because birthday cake to me is a, you know, kind of a fake sugar sort of scent for me. But I still quite, I still really like this. It's like a richer, creamier version of the blackberry butter pecan cookies without the blackberry, obviously. And the cinnamon to me, the cinnamon spice vanilla is very slight. It's more vanilla. There's very... There's just a touch of um, cinnamon. So that smells really... I think I'm going to like that as much or almost as much as the um, blackberry butter pecan cookies. They're definitely um, in the same family. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be fantastic. Uh, the next one I've got is um, Blankets by the Bonfire. So Fresh Linens, White Tea, Bergamot, Lavender, Bonfire Bliss. Um looks like this that one's quite pretty um the only thing with these pots which isn't a big deal but they do get a little bit squished sometimes so they can be a bit di difficult to get out because they're misshapen because again her wax is very soft so it's not difficult to squish um okay so there's the pot okay this one's not bad. It's not my favourite, but it is pretty good. It's interesting. On the top, I get a really strong herbal tone, like herbal lavender and bergamot really strongly. And the white tea, I think, makes it kind of herbal too. If I smell the bottom, I get more kind of a clean linen-y. I still get those herbal tones. 
a bit more sweetness and a bit of smokiness too. So it'll be interesting to see how that melts up. I think I like the bottom sniff more than the top. The top was a bit, oof, um, that's a herbal, that's a lavender. Um, and I'm not, you know, I'm not the biggest lavender lover. Um, but on the bottom, I think it, uh, it was a bit more nuanced. So hopefully that's the direction it goes when I melt it. Um, oh, I didn't take the tin off. Oh, well, I put it back in the tin. Um, strawberry vanilla birch. So strawberry, be strawberry pound cake BBW type blended with white birch and vanilla. So this one looks like that. <clears throat> Definitely trying to pop them out because... <clears throat> Because like with that last one I just did, they do smell different sometimes on the top to the bottom. Oh wow, okay. Um, I really like this. I feel like it's more white birch and vanilla than it is strawberry pound cake. Like it's more of a, I'd characterise this as a fresh scent first fresh woodsy but then there's just this really nice strawberry sweetness weaving into it mm, that's really nice but yeah it's definitely it's not like a cake scent with a little bit of freshness that is a white birch scent first and foremost with a bit of just enough of the strawberry so really good uh, vanilla balsam circus cookies, so frosted circus sugar cookies with vanilla balsam BBW type. Um, this was probably, because I think she did vanilla balsam as well, I think this is probably one, if I'd followed the rules over here, I could have just blended it myself, but I had, a, I just had a feeling about this one, that it would be the goods, so, and that I wouldn't be able to get the ratios right, <clears throat> because I haven't melted vanilla balsam before whereas I have melted circus cookies so I kind of know what circus cookies is about and its strength um whereas I can't really say that for vanilla balsam oh wow okay this is fantastic <laughs> I'm really glad I bought it <sighs> wow okay interestingly the vanilla balsam reminds me of a bit of Christmas trees and cream it has a similar fresh note when combined with sort of the creaminess of the cookies. So it kind of reminds me of a more kind of fresh uplifting version of like Christmas trees and cream. Like the obviously for frosted circus sugar cookies is different to the vanilla um, buttercream and stuff that's in Christmas trees and cream. So they're not the same scent by any means, but they are just, to me, they just feel like distant relations. I feel like what I like about Christmas trees and cream is what I like about this one. Mm. I'm now I'm regretting not also getting vanilla balsam, but because I've not had vanilla balsam on its own, so now I want some. <laughs> um, maybe I got something ready to ship. I can't, that may have been one that I threw in on ready to ship. I can't remember. Uh, so three more, um, Mrs. Claus, so Cranberry Woods BBW type Frosted Circus Sugars and Palo Santo. She also had Mr. Claus, which I thought about getting. It was the same blend, but I think without the Palo Santo. Um, but you know me, I love Palo Santo. So again, when the, you know, having to keep this to a reasonable sized order, I decided just to get the one. All right. very kind of messy um so it just looks like that I'm like smell the top smell the bottom smell the top smell the bottom so the top interestingly gives me quite a tart cranberry um and then almost like a sort of spot like I feel like I'm mostly getting cranberry woods again not something I've smelt individually before but on the bottom, the tartness is a little bit less, I think, because the frosted sugar cookies and the Palo Santo are there. And it turns into a really interesting kind of complex 
still a cram still cranberry still spiced like a spiced cranberry but more of that woods and just a bit of that cookie scent so I reckon that's going to be really good I am planning on I'm in the middle of pulling my scents for next week at the moment and um I do want this one in there as a Christmas scent so I will have thoughts on that one melting pretty soon when was that poured 15th of the 11th just a month ago still should be okay um all right so last two anthony's cabin so birch leaves citrus peel pine cones white florals vetiver sandalwood and woods uh, this one is blue put that there pop it out Seriously, I think my fingers always get so sticky after doing a teddy bear's hole. Ooh, this is really good. Mm, okay, so I'm definitely getting birch. Like a lot of birch. There's a fresh sweetness to it. Um... I think so birch, vetiver and pine cones I'd say is what I get the most but there's definitely more to it than that. It's almost like a musky kind of cologne sort of tone to it but not quite, it's not like a cologne scent but there is kind of a yeah sort of manly almost bur almost like bergamot, I don't, I can't smell bergamot like, Bergamot's not in there, but if, if it was, I feel like, you know, I feel like there's bergamot in it. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm thinking the citrus peel combined with the um, pine cones and birch and stuff maybe is making it sort of, and vetiver is making me think of bergamot. But yeah, there's a nice woodsiness to it as well. That's really, really nice. It's very unique. Um outdoorsy scent like I melt a lot of kind of outdoorsy woodsy outdoorsy scents um and I haven't had any like I can definitely pick out things that I recognize but I haven't had one like that before so that's really nice and the last one I have is sundresses and lemonade so fresh ozone and air roses jasmine lavender vanilla melon sugared lemon with a fizzy twist sorry I was just checking the four date because I'm contemplating pulling this one in to melt this week as well uh so it looks like that Oh, I can already smell that. That is a strong scent. <clears throat> I'm like rolling trays everywhere. That is strong and fantastic. I saw people talking about this one, how nice it was, and I went, this one is actually perfect for us in the season we are in right now um, versus, you know, a lot of this stuff, which is more kind of fall, winter. I mean, look, it's all fall, winter, but it's all stuff I can mount all year round. Oh, this, is, this is fantastic. So it's definitely a lemonade scent. I get that the most. It's a lemonade. But that fresh ozone to it, um, I wouldn't say it's overly floral, but I do think there's sort of the, there is a floral tone to it, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to describe, but definitely a lemon fizzy lemon but just with this beautiful slightly floral fresh air um yeah it's like it is honestly it is like being in the countryside to me we're just like you know just picking up a whole bunch of beautiful floral scents from you know like a a really nice garden more drinking lemonade that's fantastic really 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 like that one so that is it that is everything that I got from Teddy B so as I mentioned I did also order from the ready to ship that she did at the end of the pre-order um, but that won't become that so I got some shot cups and just a few things I tried to keep that order fairly small um, so that was like a Black Friday kind of thing. Um, so that will come in late Jan. 
Um, so yeah, that's, that's everything from the forwarder box. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye.